In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to create this type of backgrounds using After Effects. Let's go ahead and create a solid, and we'll call this Fractal, and add a Fractal noise to it. Let's set the noise type to Spline, and we'll up the contrast to 300 and the brightness to minus 40. Go into Transform and unselect Uniform Scaling, and let's play around with the settings until we stretch it out about so. We can up the complexity a bit, and maybe adjust the brightness to minus 50. Set a keyframe for the evolution and the offset turbulence and go to the end of the comp and let's set this to one evolution and offset this by a bit. So we get something like this. Now let's create another solid and we'll call this gradient and we'll add gradient ramp to it. Let's swap the colors and maybe adjust some of the colors here like so. If we change this layer to linear burn, you can see we basically fade out the effect that's underneath it. So we actually want to reveal more of it, like so. Now we can go ahead and pre-compose this. And we can start adding the first effect, which is polar coordinates. And if we set this to 100 and change this to react to polar, we can see the effect is sort of coming out from the center of the screen outwards. One more effect you want to add is CC radial fast blur and change the zoom type to brightest. That just gives it a nicer look. Okay, we can always go back to the fractal noise and adjust it as well. So if we go into the gradient here and maybe give a bit more of the effect to reveal, it will automatically update in here. Now let's give this some color. So choose a tint effect and we're going to make this bluish and I'm going to duplicate it and make it orange, sort of ice and fire type of look. And we'll rotate this layer 180 degrees and set them both to screen. So we just created two of the same layer with different colors, but rotated 180 degrees. All right, let's pre-compose this as well. And we'll call this main. And here is where we're gonna start to add the twist in effects. So first off, let's add the effect called twirl, which is our main effect for this. And set the twirl radius to 25. And we can go ahead and start twirling it. And as you can see, it's giving this nice twirly gradient look here, which is pretty smooth and we can scale up the layer to maybe 130. Okay, and this already looks pretty cool, but there's a few more effects you wanna add. So the first one, let's go ahead and add CC lens. And we can adjust some of these settings just to give this a nicer look here. And just play around with some of these settings. And another effect is optic compensation. So if we set the reverse lens distortion here and give it some field of view, we get even a nicer depth type of look here, which looks awesome for the background. And lastly, let's go ahead and add a glow. You can use any glow you want and play around with the settings to make it work for you. Now, just like I've done in my preview, you can go ahead and select the mask and let's make a shape from the center. I'm holding down Control Shift Alt and dragging out. And if I set this to subtract and give it some feather, it will look like it's coming from afar and not just from a point. Uh, let's see the before and after. So as you can see, not from a point, but from a darker, like, infinite background. And that is pretty much it. If you want to do, like, changing colors or anything, all you have to do is go into the colors here on your tint. And if we set a keyframe for the orange one here and move to the end of the composition, we can change this to green. And if we play this back, you can see it's starting from orange, going to yellow, and slowly turning green. Okay, pretty awesome and easy effect. This is how you create this type of abstract background. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.